So, here we go again. Um, we are in uh, a place uh, up on a mountain, Panchgani. Panchgani, <laughs> something like that. Um, this is where um, the advance will happen. So uh, for the next three days we'll be here. The advance, it's happening until Sunday, inclusive Sunday. A little bit different than how we do the advances back in the uh, US. Um, the, the trip was uh, very, very nice, very pleasant. It's every opportunity is to hang out and train. Um, it's, um, it's, it's such a joy to be around the sons. Um, so um, ready to grow and understand and ask questions. Someone asked me a question. Uh, what was the the greatest miracle I've seen? <laughs> I had to think about. <clears throat> um, I I thought about why why did it take me a while to think? Because for some people, um, some are uh, some miracles, you know, healings nature stuff, uh, financial, they are bigger than others. They seem more impossible than others. But I would say the main reason I was thinking is um, where should I begin? <laughs> because when you walk in uh, this realm, everything is supernatural. You know, a dream, an interpretation, a thought that comes, a direction, <clears throat> the voice of the Lord, that's so much all the time. And then the joy of being a new creation, a joy of knowing the Father <laughs> and walking with the Holy Spirit. How amazing. <laughs> where, where do I start? What's the greatest um, supernatural thing that will blow people's minds, probably? It was a good question was a good question. So already as we drive through, this is such a um, um, nice uh, campground. So it's not just like a farmhouse as I expected, but it's actually a far, um, campground. So they can um, probably host about a hundred, they said 126 people. Um, they have a big kitchen, uh, dorms. <clears throat> they get lots of schools. So probably similar to some other places uh, that we've seen. Beautiful nature. The view, it's uh, absolutely amazing. I got this place, which is a room, huge room, just for myself. <laughs> they treat me as a king. <laughs> but as I started to pray for um, what's going to happen these days, well, I've been praying for a while, but as I started to get into what the what the Lord wants to do. <clears throat> it's almost like you travel through different layers of things. Start 
seeing, feeling, and it's your soul actually experiences um, different layers, different, um, probably different principalities, powers. One of the, one of the things that uh, the Lord wants me to do in these days, uh, since there are people coming from different countries, different places in India, so it's a basically international camp meeting, is to, to be able to uh, meet with the groups from different cities and discuss, uh, get to know them and discuss strategy for their particular place. I will be visiting next week some of these places. But as, as you start receiving, downloading stuff, and whatever happened with, uh, you know, with Daniel, he waited 21 days. And uh, the angel that was bringing the answer had to go through these layers of uh, battles um, in, in the spiritual realm, which basically were um, different um, principalities you know, of Greece, of Persia, that were gonna come in time. So it's interesting, it's linear for us on the earth, but it's almost layered if you look from above. <clears throat> if you come from above, it's layered, but as these layers uh, touch the ground, this happen, these things happen in time. So they become, they become experience, they, they are experienced uh, linearly um, in time. Because <clears throat> that, that's exactly what was gonna happen in Daniel's case in, um, for, for, um, for him, for, uh, for the Jews, for Israel. So the downloads, when, when you prepare for something and a minister, um, there are things that are happening that, that you know it's not about you, it's not about you feel something, you feel unprepared, you feel sad. This is not about you. Because at that moment you are a vessel and the Lord is downloading um, the plan the layout of what he wants to do with you so that's that's how he works and then as i start ministering you know tomorrow or the day after i do see things unfolded unveiled but he already placed them inside I think this is the closer, ex the closest explanation of I only see what the Father, <laughs> Father does, speak, you know, His works, His design. The Father is designing, He's painting, <laughs> He's drawing these layouts, and then they come through the Holy Spirit and they get interpreted or translated in your soul and then lived day by day in the ministry. <clears throat> See, now, now you know. Now you know some of uh, the secrets. Um, you know, the ministry as a son it's not a ministry of, um, you know, I'm waiting for a gift, for a revelation, for a word. It's, it's, not, it's not that way. If, if you hear any voices that says something outside, um, <laughs> um, people are preparing some stuff outside my room. So, um, the ministry of a son, um, it comes with 
the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit all together coming through the soul of the Son, which becomes the vessel. It's not just a gift. You know, the Lord shows you something, and thus is the Lord, and you deliver that, and He does what He's supposed to do. But it's something that is changing, something that comes from Godhead, and it moves, it changes, and flows through your soul. You become creator, you become designer, you become that word that's coming out through the Holy Spirit. So um, this is preparation. Okay, um, I'll try to uh, connect with you and tell you how the days are going in uh, the advance. Maybe get some highlights because I know it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot. Yeah. By the way, I, I drank today some sugar cane juice. Yeah. It's like so it. good. <laughs> sugar cane, yes, that's just the land where they have sugar cane and this is a strawberry season right now. So, um, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> Super love you. We'll, we'll walk together and absolutely treasure your prayers and intercession. Love you.